My name is Teresa Shea, um, costume design in an intimate theater for Project Wonderland. My first ovation nomination and my first um, ovation win, so I'm, I'm absolutely floored. I had, I had no aspirations of, <laughs> I mean a little bit, you know, but <laughs> so I, I'm, uh, yeah, just, I was absolutely floored. Well, um, kind of looked like that. I was like, I, I actually, I, I couldn't believe that, you know, because I don't know. I just, I just looked at like who I was up against, and you know, the sort of outlandish costumes of Project Gogol and so a lot of the other shows I hadn't seen. But I'm, you know, I just, I was kind of speechless. <laughs> and when I got up there to, uh, although I had just said to my boyfriend sitting next to me uh, a little while before. You know, be kind of cool if I walked up there because the, the, the back of the, the back of the outfit looks really fabulous so if I have to walk up there it's nice <laughs> but you know when you're a costumer you kind of have to <laughs> but um, the speech I I had a bunch of things written down I had planned to say this and that and this profound thing or that profound and it all went out to left field or something and I just kind of said some things and um, thanked uh, various people and forgot lots of people and hugely, hugely, hugely forgot to thank my boyfriend Tim Payton for, he worked on the show and came in and, you know, slave labored on the show and was incredibly supportive and really didn't give me the kind of shit he probably should have for, for how much I uh, didn't have my own oxygen mask on. and kind of ignored the fact that I was had a home and a relationship while I was working on the show. So, um, so Tim, I'm so sorry. Because <laughs> I was really appreciative, but uh, I think it's his fault, though, because he, he jokingly said uh, yesterday that uh, you better not spend the entire time talking about me. So I completely didn't. <laughs> I was just so thrown <laughs> to, to, to be up there and uh, um, didn't quite know what to say, but uh, I hope that people got at least the heartfeltness of, of my thanks. Um, I, and, and I forgot to thank them. That was one of the first things I was going to say was thank you so much for, for, uh, for, you know, to LA Stage Alliance, for, for all the, you know, for everything that they, they do so much to put the theater out there in our laps so that like, oh, this is going on and that's going on and this community outreach thing is going on. Amazing. Um, LA Theater in general, um, I grew up in, in Northern California with the Photo Theater Company, which is unfortunately just went bankrupt this last year. So um, very sad. It was like losing a sibling. <laughs> but um, the the people that I grew up with, uh, my good friends uh, Diane and Ralph Betterly, I'm wearing Ralph's ring. Um, they they uh, sucked us all into the theater at, when I was like like seven or eight, and we dragged my parents in, and now we all do theater. And uh, my mom's a costumer, my dad's a scenic designer, and my sister directs and acts, and, and so I kind of do everything. <laughs> and, but, but they really, um, the kind of theater we were creating with them was magic. It was amazing. And it took uh, a long time for me to kind of find my way into, um, into creating that as an adult in my own community here in L.A. Uh, working with Theater of Note and Burglars of Ham, and working, especially working with Rob Pryor, uh, doing things with the Fabulous Monsters, um, I really had the experience of of creating magic, not just you know, okay, put on the show, but really touching people and really creating something bigger than all of us. And it was so nice to find that community down here, and find my own community as an adult, not just because I grew up in it, you know, and. Um, I do kind of wish that it was a little easier to make a living <laughs> at it. Um, in the intimate theater scene, it's very much you know labor of love, and I have to save up to to uh, work on shows. So hopefully, I don't know. Hopefully, the economy will kind of wake up, and people will put more money into it. <laughs> but uh, but there's just such a plethora of things going on all the time here. And I gotta say, it's really convenient to go. Oh, I need some toupee tape. Oh, it's two blocks away. Because when I'm in other cities, I I I, I got spoiled in L.A. Because you're you're next to all the things that you need. So.